Hello, welcome back to the Dales. I've got a couple of hours, that's all today, and I, I can't go far, so I've just come up on the hill. I've been in this field before. I've been in all of these fields before. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've just drawn back here. I've just found a spoon handle, uh, end of a spoon handle. But, you know, you get drawn back to somewhere, you've got to go do it. Follow your, follow your intuition. Oh, I've just realised that is a, a gate that's been walled up. An old gate. So I've been going round here, found a pen knife. One of these uh, bone handled ones, uh, or horn handled. Never get an inscription, that's the problem. Another huge brass ring split by that look. I got one of these the yesterday or the day before. <laughs> a letterbox on the wall. <laughs> I've been here before. <laughs> Jed was here, he doesn't do iron. <laughs> well, that's uh, an interesting little thing. Oh dear, this lot think I am the farmer. <laughs> I haven't got out for you fellas. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Oh, they just found a window catch. <sighs> See this, um, if I can get one. Uh -huh. See that little light thing there? It's not snow. It's urea, it's super phosphate. Farmers have been spreading it. Well, sorry. <laughs> Oh, well, that's part of something. Broken now, look. Was it a buckle? Not sure what that was. Well, I've been up here about three quarters of an hour, sort of flogging a dead horse. Farmer told me this used to be a tip that was soiled over. Uh, so I'm just checking and <laughs> I'm inclined to believe him. <laughs> but then, out of the blue, you turn up a buckle like this, broken, but uh, whoa, <laughs> a little beauty. You never know, do you? Now, I know that definitely was a tip over there. It was a big sand quarry and they filled it in. I thought, I know it's this uh, gate. Didn't know about that, so I thought, I'll have a little go around here. And uh, I got a wobble, wobble, wobble. I thought, oh God, tin can, <laughs> you know, but it wasn't. <laughs> Superb uh, buckle. Well, if I get nothing but buckles, I'll be happy. No, that was weird. That was a 56. Oh, I'm in basic one. I wondered why it was so low. <laughs> I'm operating basic one. And it's a pewter button. <sighs> They're right on their way back now. Uh, nice pewter handle here, um, but who, who, oh, well, the WP, I thought WR, maybe it's William Rex, that's the, oh, yeah, huh. Coin! Haha! <laughs> now that looks very much to me like uh, George 6. Sorry, it's George 3. <laughs> Only a couple of hundred years out. 1806 ish. Oh, mole trap. Uh. Newish. Careful of these things, they're, they're designed to snap a mould back and they'll, they'll break your finger as soon as look at you. <laughs> oh, another coin. Uh, I can't make that out. It's 18 something. Young Head Victoria. Half penny. Okay, I've just had a phone call. <laughs> Time to take the family out to lunch. 
So I'll just leave you a quick view of my dales, rapidly getting very green. And uh, we'll see you at the roundup. Hello, welcome to the roundup. Interesting day today, well, a couple of hours. Uh, look, you always find something, at least I do. <laughs> I did a mixture of systematic searching a corner of a field, so back and forth, back and forth. I uh, was just wandering round intuitively. And I'm afraid intuition got me a lot more stuff. Anyway, let's start with the um, graphite. <laughs> oh, it's got a number on it. Never saw that before. And it's a 61. It's a window catch. Thrown out. This. I did this, what was supposed to have been a tip and covered over with, with topsoil and that got a lot of stuff that looked like being a tip and then another part of the field I went into um, wasn't a tip at all, it was just ordinary field this was lying on the top, I thought it was a clear pipe when I first saw it like that and I put detector over it and nothing happened because it's iron my detector just ignored it, didn't even blip uh, fairly modern by the look of it these are all coming off the scrap field part, look. Um, bits of copper, silver solder, an eyelet, um, one of these square nails for holding furniture together, Ikea type stuff. Bits of lead, bits of copper, um, copper tube, cramped, or crimped, that's the word, crimped. <laughs> Not as cramped as I feel, crimped. <laughs> <laughs> this gave a beautiful signal, look, little curly bit of wire. <laughs> Belter. Now let's go on to semi um, goodies. Not really goodies, but what are you? Um, this is going to be a, a, a round up for the laddies who can identify stuff. Don't really know what you are. Should do. Uh, now. Spoon handle, let's see if I can get you some nickel silver, there's a few, I don't even know if these are the right way up, oh that looks better, if anybody can make anything of those, and again with the pewter one, which is our, I think they, they go this way around all the time, end of the handle to the right. Now that says... what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't quite know. CWC I think that is, or NC, CNC. V now this is what gets me, it's got the crown and I'm sure that's a W oh that is an R, right WR, William Rex thought it was a P but if you look very very carefully you can see where the, the R just start down anybody know different? let me know please Got another one of these. <laughs> Be nice to have one in one piece. <laughs> Get the idea these these are like rings out of a, an engine, you know, piston rings. But my goodness, that would have been some piston. Could have been steam though, I suppose. Could be a cylinder ring out of a, a steam engine. Two of those exactly the same. Look at that! A nice, nice book. It's grotty. So <laughs> I've just left the iron pin in. Normally I, I, I take them out if they're all grotty and just keep the brass bit, the bronze bit. And this, 
You know, there's, there's always a, they made buckles at one stage where there was always this weak part which went. I think the idea was throw it away and buy another one. <laughs> pen knife. I always like to find a pen knife. It shows that the, the place was worked. Every farmer carries a pen and knife, even today. It's a tool of the trade. Now, look at this. Very fancy. Um, and I reckon it's the shape where I've drawn it out here. It, it's a square piece. And if you look at the fancy bits there, look. It was quite a complicated effort. Gilded. You, you can still see the gilt shining through there. A cover for something, but what? Now, button. I thought it was pewter. Not quite sure. It's it's funny. <laughs> Another button. Little button. There we go. Coins only two. 1862, young head, uh, Victoria, bit grotified, and an 1806, again, very grotty, but there you are, a Britannia look, on the back. I think it's 1806. Unless anyone can see a date there. A date. It's 1806. Or 7. And the piece de resistance. Whenever I get bits of lead and stuff like this, I say always open them up. Have a look, see if there's any writing in them. How's about this then? Is that pinned into something? Quite thick, substantial, stamped. C R A something. Now, because I live round here, I know what this says. It's C R A something. That's the name. Halifax. You've got Halif. Sowerby Bridge and Ovendon. And there's a date there I think but uh, just what it was I don't know but I like stuff like this C-R-A I shall be on Google and having a look <laughs> there you go couple of hours wandering around on a tip <laughs> uh, and still finding stuff by intuition in odd corners. Ah, it's quite nice today. The, the sun wasn't really out, but in a spot of rain now and then, but it was cool and I like it, prefer it that way. So there you go, look, it's out there. Go get it. <laughs> Till I see you later. Bye.